Thanks, Aparna. It's exciting to see all the innovation coming to Google Workspace. As AI continues to improve rapidly, we are focused on giving helpful features to our users. And starting today, we are giving you a new way to preview some of the experiences across Workspace and other products. It's called Labs. I say new, but Google has a long history of bringing labs, and you know, we've made it available throughout our uh, history as well. You can check it out at google.com slash labs. Next up, we're gonna talk about Search. Search has been our founding product from our earliest days, and we've always approached it placing user trust about everything else. To give you a sense of how we are bringing generative AI in search, I'm going to invite Kathy onto the stage. Kathy? Thanks, Sunda. You know, I've been working in search for many years, and what inspires me so much is how it continues to be an unsolved problem. And that's why I'm just so excited by the potential of bringing generative AI into search. Let's give it a whirl. So let's start with a search for what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog Bryce Canyon or Arches? Now, although this is the question that you have, you probably wouldn't ask it in this way today. You'd break it down into smaller ones, sift through the information, and then piece things together yourself. Now, search does the heavy lifting for you. What you see here looks pretty different, so let me first give you a quick tour you'll notice a new integrated search results page so you can get even more out of a single search. There's an AI-powered snapshot that quickly gives you the lay of the land on a topic. And so here you can see that while both parks are kid-friendly, only Bryce Canyon has more options for your furry friend. Then if you want to dig deeper, there are links included in the snapshot. You can also click to expand your view, and you'll see how the information is corroborated. So you can check out more details and really explore the richness of the topic. This new experience builds on Google's ranking and safety systems that we've been fine tuning for decades. And search will continue to be your jumping off point to what makes the web so special its diverse range of content from publishers to creators, businesses, and even people like you and me. So you can check out recommendations from experts like the National Park Service and learn from authentic first-hand experiences like the Mom Trotter blog. Because even in a world where AI can provide insights, we know that people will always value the input of other people, and a thriving web is essential to that. These new generative AI, these new generative, thank you. These new generative AI capabilities will make search smarter and searching simpler. And as you've seen, this is really especially helpful when you need to make sense of something complex with multiple angles to explore. You know, those times when even your question has questions. So for example, let's say you're searching for a good bike for a five mile commute with hills. This can be a big purchase, so you wanna do your research. In the AI powered snapshot, you'll see important considerations like motor and battery for taking on those hills, and suspension for a comfortable ride. Right below that, you'll see products that fit the bill, each with images, reviews, helpful descriptions, and current pricing. 
This is built on Google's shopping graph, the world's most comprehensive data set of constantly changing products, sellers, brands, reviews, and inventory out there with over 35 billion listings. In fact, there are 1.8 billion live updates to our shopping graph every hour. So you can shop with confidence in this new experience, knowing that you'll get fresh, relevant results. And for commercial queries like this, we also know that ads can be especially helpful to connect people with useful information and help businesses get discovered online. They're here, clearly labeled, and we're exploring different ways to integrate them as we roll out new experiences in search. And now that you've done some research, you might want to explore more. So right under the snapshot, you'll see the option to ask a follow-up question or select a suggested next step. Tapping any of these options will bring you into our brand new conversational mode. In this case, maybe you wanna ask a follow-up about e-bikes. So you look for one in your favorite color, red. And without having to go back to square one, Google Search understands your full intent and in that you're looking specifically for e-bikes in red that would be good for a five-mile commute with hills. And even when you're in this conversational mode, it's an integrated experience. So you can simply scroll to see other search results. Now, maybe this e-bike seems to be a good fit for your commute. With just a click, you're able to see a variety of retailers that have it in stock, and some that offer free delivery or returns. You'll also see current prices, including deals, and can seamlessly go to a merchant's site, check out, and turn your attention to what really matters, getting ready to ride. These new generative AI capabilities also unlock a whole new category of experiences on search. It could help you create a clever name for your cycling club, craft the perfect social post to show off your new wheels, or even test your knowledge on bicycle hand signals. These are things you may never have thought to ask search for before. Shopping is just one example of where this can be helpful. Let's walk through another one in a live demo. What do you say? Yeah. So special shout out to my three-year-old daughter who is obsessed with whales. I wanted to teach her about whale song. So let me go to the Google app and ask, why do whales like to sing? And so here, I see a snapshot that organizes the web results and gets me to key things I, I want to know so I can understand quickly that, oh, they, they sing for a lot of different reasons, like to communicate with other whales, but also to find food. And I can click see more to expand here as well. Now, if I was actually with my daughter and not on stage in front of thousands of people, I'd be checking out some of these web results right now. They look pretty good. Now, I'm thinking she'd get a kick out of seeing one up close. So let me ask, uh, can I see whales in California? And so the LLMs right now are working behind the scenes to generate my snapshot, distilling insights and perspectives from across the web. It looks like in Northern California, I can see humpbacks around this time of year. That's cool. I'll have to plan to take her on a trip soon. And again, I can see some really great results from across the web. And if I wanna re refer to the results of my previous question, I can just scroll right up. Now, she's got a birthday coming up, so I can follow up with plush ones for kids under $40. Again, the LLMs are organizing this information for me, and this process will get faster over time. 
These seem like some great options. I think she'll really like the second one. She's into orcas as well. Phew, live demos are always a little nerve wracking. I'm really glad that one went well. <laughs> what you've seen today is just a first look at how we're experimenting with generative AI in search. And we're excited to keep improving with your feedback through our Search Labs program. This new search generative experience, also known as SGE, will be available in labs, along with some other experiments. And they'll be rolling out in the coming weeks. If you're in the US, you can join the waitlist today by tapping the labs icon in the latest version of the Google app or Chrome desktop. This new experience really reflects the beginning of a new chapter. And you can think of this evolution as search supercharged. <laughs>